the first thing you'd want to do is put a description as to what the job is. This entry will show up as the job's title in the Estimate Manager. Next, you can choose what type of estimate you'd like to choose. In this case, we're going to set up an offset. And here again, you'd want to go ahead and list the description here. And from here, you can build your estimate by selecting your quantities. Well, as you can also type the information in. Same information would apply to the finish size. There's also an area here for bleed. You can add how much of a bleed you'd like to have or include either a top, bottom, left, or right bleed as well. The next section we have below that would be the stock. By selecting the stock option, it shows us all the different stocks we have available. In this case, we'll go ahead and select a bond stock here. And from here, we'll also want to select our ink. If we were doing a four-color job, we could select our option into the program here by selecting each option here for the four color. And once we have that in here, we can click under the select button. Being it is we're running an eight and a half by 11 sheet on an eight and a half by 11 stock, it's only going to let us have one out. From here, we have a press option where if we like to include which machine we're going to run the job on, we can select the press option and choose the press. After we've selected it, it'll pull up our price down here. And then from here, if we needed to add any graphic design, we can select the graphics option and choose the graphics out of the list. Same would apply for our finishing, as well as if we'd like to add any miscellaneous options or mailing options to the estimate as well. Once we're finished here, we can click onto the Add button, where it would add to the list below. And then from here, we can click onto the Print button to either print out a customer quote, print out a price detail, or email the quote directly from the program. You can also click onto the Save button, where it'll save the estimate as well as add your estimate number down here at the bottom.